हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति आज है डे थ्री ऑफ आर सेवन डे योगा प्रैक्टिस लास्ट टू डेज में हम लोगों ने प्रैक्टिस किया है जेंटल हता एंड ए पी एम आज हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं कोर हता विच इज़ एक्चुअली अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हता योगा एंड कोर प्रैक्टिस आज की प्रैक्टिस थोड़ी सी चैलेंजिंग होने वाली है बट मेक श्योर कि आप क्विट नहीं करोगे एनी पॉइंट आपको लगे थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो रहा है टेक ब्रेक कैच योर ब्रेथ एंड देन इमिडिएटली गेट बैक आफ्टर प्रैक्टिस सीक्वेंस को पूरा खत्म करने के बाद आप बहुत अमेजिंग फील करने वाले हो बिलीव मी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज प्रैक्टिस सिट कंफर्टेबली इन एनी सीटेड पॉस्चर Make sure your spine is uplifted, shoulders completely relaxed. Join your palms to the chest center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out completely. We'll go for Om chant. Inhale. Gentle blinks. Open your eyes. Namaste. Get onto your force. Keep your fingers wide open. Wrist comes right under your shoulder. And your knees together. Toes untucked. With an inhalation, straighten your right leg back. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, right knee to the right shoulder. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, shoulder. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, shoulder and hold. Hold it there. Breathe there. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Inhale, straighten, and now bring your right foot to the right side. Walk your hands back, hands at your waist, and make sure your left knee and right foot is in one line. This is here. We are going for parigasan. Hip should be square, facing the front. Now. With an inhalation, extend your arms up. Exhale, lateral bend to your right. Release your right palm down on your right shin. Look up to the ceiling through your left armpit and breathe there. One, two, three, four. and 5 inhale exhale release back to your force take your right leg back fingers wide open knees together we'll go for the side inhale straight in your left leg back exhale left knee to the left elbow inhale straight in exhale left knee to the left shoulder inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. The last round. Exhale. Knee to the elbow. Inhale. Exhale and hold. One. Two. Three. Four. 
three, four, and five. Inhale, straighten. Now bring your left leg to the left side. Make sure right knee, left foot is in one line. Walk your hands back, hands at your waist, hip square. With an inhalation, extend your arms up. Exhale, lateral bend to your left. Release your left palm down on your left shin. Look up to the ceiling through your right armpit. Breathe there. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale. Exhale, release. Slowly take your left knee back, your palms down. Now, tuck your toes, take your knees off. Downward facing dog. We'll take five deep breaths in down dog. Keep your fingers wide open, center finger pointing forward, biceps in line with your ears, gaze either at your knees or at your navel. Just breathe. Focus more on the length of your spine. It's okay if your knees are slightly bent. It's completely fine. Now, slowly bring your right foot forward and your left foot forward. Hands at your waist. Look forward. Slowly come up with an inhalation. Come to the top of the mat. We'll go for Surya Namaskar with some variations. Palms to the chest center. Slightly bend your knees. Push your hips forward. Inhale, Hastra Uthana. Exhale, bend forward. Pada Hastasana. Inhale, right leg back. Ashwa Sanchalan. Gaze forward. Left knee, left ankle in one line. Now put your palms down, send your left leg back. Plank and hold. As I told you, today's Surya Namaskar will be with some variations. So hold this position and if you are very comfortable, take your right leg off. One, two, three, four, and five. Drop your left knee down. Not so comfortable? Drop both the knees down. It's completely fine. Chest down and chin down. Inhale, scoop up. Keeping your right leg off. Pujanga. Now, tuck your left toes. Hip up. Downward facing dog. Take your right leg higher. Five deep breaths here. Slowly bring your right foot forward in between your palms. Gaze forward, Ashwa Sanchalan. Exhale, left foot forward. Bend forward. Now, slightly bend your knees. Extend your arms forward, upper body parallel to the floor. Slowly come up, knees bent, hips forward. Bend back. Exhale, bend forward. Now take your left leg back, Ashwa Sanchalan, gaze forward and your right leg back, plank. Comfortable, left leg off. Not so comfortable, stick to basic plank. Two, three, four and five. Right knee down. Chest down and chin down. Inhale, scoop up. Your left leg is still off. Tuck your right toes. Downward facing dog. With your left leg higher. 
This is called as Ekapada Adhumukha. Weight is equally distributed on your three limbs. Three, four, and five. Bring your left foot forward and your right. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, extend your arms forward. Biceps in line with your ears. Slowly come up, knees bend, hips forward, bend back. Exhale, palms to the chest center. Prepare yourself for the second round. Knees bend, hips forward. Extend your arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Now the second variation is Chaturanga Dandasana. From here, shift your weight forward like this. I mean, come on the tip of your toes or come onto your toes. Comfortable? Bend your elbows, go down. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to plank. Knees down, chest down, and chin down. Ashtanga. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, hip up. Bring your right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Full forward bend. You can catch your breath here. Now slowly, extend your arms forward. Upper body parallel to the floor. Slowly come up. Knees bent, hips forward, bend back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, right leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana. If the posture is not coming for you, just drop your knees down and then upper body down. Just make sure if it is not coming for you, you can always drop your knees down. But you're not going to drop the practice. Be there and breathe there. If comfortable, taking the knees off. One, two, three, four, and five. Plank. Knee, chest, and chin down. Ashtanga. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, hip up. Breathe there. Stay there, this is your last down dog. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale out completely. Step your left foot forward. Ashwatanjana and your right. Now we'll hold this forward bend for next five breaths. Place your hands behind your shin. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, look up. Now, extend your arms forward, upper body parallel to the floor, slowly come up, knees bent, hips forward, bend back, exhale, palms to the chest center. Release your hands, spread your legs wide, hip width apart, just catch your breath and observe your breath. Lengthen your breath, deepen your breath.
my heart rate has increased and I am sweating like anything already. So cool down. Gentle blinks open your eyes. Move to the center of the mat. Spread your legs wide, slightly more than hip width apart and squat down, Malasana. Use your elbows to push your knees out. Work on the length of your spine. This is the preparation of next posture, which is Kakasana. With your elbows, nicely push your knees out and focus on the length of your spine. Gaze forward. One. Gaze ahead, down. Two. Three. Four. And five. If the next posture you find really challenging, you can stick to the same Malasana. So the next posture is Kakasana. You have to keep your fingers wide open. Bring your big toes together. Take your armpits down. And look ahead. Make sure your gaze is fixed at one point, somewhere ahead of you. For me, I am fixing my gaze somewhere here. And just make sure of one thing, that you should never look back, never look at your feet. Otherwise, you will definitely topple. Now, gaze fixed at one point, fingers nicely wide open, armpit down, your knees resting on the upper arms and you are almost on your toes. This is the starting position. Now, if you are comfortable here, slowly lift your hip up, nicely come on your toes, shift your chest forward and come on the tip of your toes. So this is little tricky here. You have to lift your hip up, hip up, chest forward and come on the tip of your toes. Look at my toes. So, hip up, chest forward. You are on your toes, your feet will become light. Take it off. One foot off is good enough. But if you are very comfortable, go with both the legs. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. If this is your first time and the posture is not coming for you, it is completely fine. And ha, this is a very detailed tutorial I have made before. The link I have given you here. After the class, you can check it out. We will go for one more round of the same posture. If you are tired, you can stick to Malasana. This one. And if you want to give another attempt, then let's do it one more time. Fingers wide open. Gaze fixed at one point. Just three instructions. Gaze, hip up, chest forward. Starting position ko achieve karne ke baad, bas teen instructions ko follow karna hai. Gaze, hip up, chest forward. So let's do it. This is the starting position. My gaze is fixed. I'm lifting my hip up and shifting my chest forward. And I'm there. Breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly release. Very good. I hope thak chuki hoge aap log ab tak. You can relax in child pose. Connect with your breath. Lengthen your breath, deepen your breath. Now slowly walk your hands back. And now swing your legs forward. We are not yet done. This 
this is the challenging part of practice. So now lie down on your spine. Yogic bicycle. Just make sure you are not dropping it. You are doing it along with me. Interlock your fingers, place it under your head. Knees going close to the chest. So I'll tell you the technique first, how it has to be done. And after that, we'll do it together. So you have to lift your upper back off. Right elbow goes close to the left knee and you straighten your right leg. And then left knee and left elbow together, you straighten your left leg. And the leg which you are straightening is off the floor. Just make sure of that. So now we'll start the practice and we'll go for 20 repetitions together and make sure aap log nahi rukoge mere saath karte rahoge let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and now immediately get into nakasana boat pose sit up lean back keep your spine lengthened release your hands and take your legs off you can keep your knees bent it's absolutely fine but those of you are regularly practicing yoga and comfortable straighten your legs breathe there Three, four, and five. Drop down. Yeah. Turn around on your abdomen, and now we'll be holding plank for ten deep breaths. On your forearms, you can interlock your fingers. Tuck your toes, lift your hip up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now release so now once again turn around Tino practice ek bar fir se karenge knees to the chest i know aap logo ko lag raha hoga ki bas abhi done but no main instructions bhi de rahi hu and saath mein kar rahi hu just for you guys and you have to do it with me take your upper back off and start one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now for benefits, for core strengthening, immediately get into boat pose. One. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly release. Turn around for plank. Ten breaths. So one, two, three. Tuck your toes, take it off. Start. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly drop. Turn around. And now, knees close to the chest. Comfortable. Grab your big toes and straighten your legs and take it off 
take your buttocks off you are balancing on your mid back this is ubhaya padangustasana actually a supine forward bend bahut comfortable ho to just grab your foot Ten deep breaths here. And then slowly release. Now, a back bend. करेंगे. Just grab your heels, Setu Bandhasana. If you cannot reach your heels, it's absolutely fine. Just keep your palms down. It's okay. Lift your buttocks off, lower back, mid back. Work on bringing your shoulder blades closer. now slowly release hug your knees to the chest to release all the tension from your lower back release your legs in shavasana spread your legs wide mat width apart toes falling either side of the body palms facing up to the ceiling fingers naturally curled allow your armpits also to breathe do not hold on to any tension just relax and let go your facial muscles completely relaxed With every inhalation feel the expansion of your abdomen. With every exhalation your abdomen is sinking down into the mat. Observe this abdominal movement while breathing. Start counting your breath backward starting from 27 to 0. mentally count your breath Now gently bring your awareness back to the body. Gentle movement in your fingers and your toes. Slowly move your head left to right. Bring your feet together. Extend your arms up over your head. Interlock your fingers. Give a nice stretch from top to toes. Bend your left knee, rolling on to the right side. The moment you feel comfortable, sit up in Sukhasan. 
keeping your eyes closed. Take a moment to acknowledge the experience of last practice. Observe the change in your mind which has come after the practice. Hands at the back. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, bend forward. Send your gratitudes to the universal energy and be thankful to the Mother Earth. Slowly come up with an inhalation, release your hands, rub your palms nicely, generate the heat, transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal. Once again, rub your palms and this time, cup your eyes. Looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes, palms to the chest center. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. आज की प्रैक्टिस को अगर आपने स्टार्टिंग से लेकर एंड तक फिनिश किया है कमेंट सेक्शन में डन जरूर लिख देना एंड अ बिग थम्स अप फॉर यू गाइस कल हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं योग निद्रा बहुत ही रिलैक्सिंग एंड सूदिंग प्रैक्टिस है एक ब्लैंकेट या फिर बेडशीट कैरी करना सो आई सी यू टूमोरो टिल देन ईट वेल स्लीप वेल टेक केयर बाय बाय